Hi everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Um, this is your one hour full body weight yoga sculpt, optional resistance band, and we're just gonna get started right away. So head to your mat and just start to invite some movements here. Option to take some of these standing stretches that I am doing here. Option to just do what feels good for you. The idea here is just to start to warm your entire body up. I know for me, if it's early in the morning, things are quite tight. And so I just like to do a lot of these fluid movements. They feel good in my body. And so I just encourage you to listen to what you need and breathe throughout your entire stretch. Make sure you get to get your arms. I feel like that's always something I tend to forget. And when you're ready with that, head to the back of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Rise up. Exhale, forward fold. And just release, hang here. Option to find a nice deep bend in your knees. Option for an elbow grip. Maybe sway side to side. Maybe nod your head yes, nod your head no. And then option here to bend into your left knee as you straighten your right and your left arm can reach up overhead. It's a nice little twist here. You can just play around with that, see how that feels. It's a really great way to warm up your hamstrings. And then when you are done, walk out to a high plank. You start to shift forward an inch, back an inch. Really subtle movements here. Work to keep your hips and shoulders aligned the entire time. Once you hit about 10 of those, you lower slowly onto your belly. Tee out your arms, scissor your inner thighs together, press your entire lower body down. Inhale, rise up. Just squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Keep your gaze down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Keep pressing your legs down into your mat. Lower. Two more times. Last one. Press up through a tabletop. And extend your right arm out, left leg long, set up for bird dog pose. Inhale, exhale, knee to elbow, drive it in. Inhale, extend, exhale, knee to elbow. Continue to move at your own pace. Use your exhale as you drive your elbow towards your knee. one. Hold it out long and just start to pulse your leg and hand about an inch or two. Hold and bring it down. Second side, left arm out, right leg long, inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow, inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to elbow. Good. Really work on that motion as you drive your knee towards your elbow. Feel that squeeze. Power for your exhales. Hold long, just pulse. And then hold, release. Find a down dog, stretch it out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, walk your way to the top of your mat, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, get big. Take up space. Exhale, draw your hands down to heart center. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step back, stack your shoulders over your wrist. Inhale, shift forward one inch. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, send your hips back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, hop your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Flow through your Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog, send it back. Inhale, look forward. 
exhale forward fold, last time through, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, rise up, last time here. Exhale, forward fold, hinge on your hips. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, flow your high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, hips go back. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Hold there and breathe. Start to scissor your inner thighs together. Send weight to your heels. Maybe your toes come off your mat just a little bit here. Inhale. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, palms face down. Ground through your right foot. Inhale. Sorry, ground through your left foot. Inhale, one legged to das and a right leg rises. Bring your hands down to heart center. Set up for curtsy lunge twist. So you're working to drive your left elbow towards the outer part of your right knee. So it's a curtsy lunge, and then as you rise, oblique twist. This is not meant to be easy. I definitely lost my balance a little bit through here. So take your time, take it slow. I did about 10 of these, but again, if you want to slow things down, go at your own pace. I encourage you to do so. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, left leg lifts. Repeat right back into your second set of curtsy lunges. Really focus on finding a dristy, a point of focus that's going to help you so much through that balance balance challenge and if those oblique twists are a little too much I know I definitely felt my balance feel a little off as I did the twist so you can always ditch those and then when you are ready flow through inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale upward facing dog exhale downward facing dog send your hips back Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend your leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, send your leg high. Exhale, fall in triangle. Send your right foot over to the outside edge of your left. Drop your left outer edge of your foot down. Extend your left arm up. Option to float your right foot about an inch or so to really fire up your core here. Inhale, send your right leg back up. Exhale, low lunge, step it through. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Hold here and breathe. Just start to set yourself up here. Stack your right knee directly over your ankle. Pull your left hip forward as you draw your right hip back. Inhale, exhale, double lunge, get nice and low. Then start to twist it right, center, right, center. Work to keep your back knee about covered an inch or so off your mat. And then continuously stack your shoulders directly over your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Keep your hands close towards your chest. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Open up. Check for heel to arch alignment. Gaze comes forward. Inhale, star pose. Rise up. Get big. Exhale, lateral lunge. So send weight into your left leg, send your hips back, and then really important here, make sure your left knee is stacked in line with your toes. You should have very little weight on your right leg. A nice flat back. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, flow your high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back. Stood on the left side. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, send your leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, shoot your right leg up. I'm sorry, left leg up. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Fall in triangle. Drop your foot down. And then reach your right arm up overhead. Option to float your left foot for an added core challenge if that is in your practice. your right hand back down inhale send your left leg high exhale low lunge inhale crescent lunge rise up hold here and breathe again same thing here make sure your knee is stacked directly over your ankle relax your shoulders away from your ears pull your right hip forward and press with the back ball mound edge of your foot 
Inhale, exhale, double lunge, get low, start to twist it left, center, left, center. Exhale on your twist. Make sure that twist is coming from your obliques rather than your arms. Stay with it, inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Work to squeeze your glutes, engage your inner thighs. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, lateral lunge, get nice and low again. Find that nice flat back, send your hips back. Belly button should be up towards your spine. Nice long left leg here. Weight is into your right leg. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send your hips back. All right, let's flow that. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink low. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, right leg rises. Exhale, curtsy lunges right back into them. And if you're not feeling this extra leg work, that is totally fine. You can hold it low, pulse it out. You can hold a chair pose and just get nice and low and pulse in a narrow squat. So always options to modify. But do know there's not a leg sequence um, throughout this entire full body weight class so yeah just a little heads up head right into your left leg I'm just bobbing here <laughs> step your left leg back right into those curtsy lunges I figured I'd sneak a lot of leg work in throughout the entire sun B flow that you know we don't really need any separate leg exercises after all that almost there stay with it inhale rise up Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step back. Opposite angle taps. Left goes to outside of right. Then right goes to outside of left. Then send your left arm out, your right arm out. Repeat. And then option for those alternating arm moves to add in the leg. If you want that extra challenge. I clearly was not feeling it this morning, but you do you. Really important this entire time to keep your core engaged. So hug your rib cage together and really work to continue keeping your hips and shoulders stacked the entire time. And try to avoid a lot of rocking here. It's going to help find your balance, really tighten up your core, working on that stability. Almost there. Last set here, you've got it. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, flow your high to low plank, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, exhale, fall in triangle. Drop your right foot down, extend your left arm up. Option to float your right leg. Option to just hold here, but see if you can lift your hips up one inch higher. Really squeeze into your obliques here. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, rise up. Exhale, double lunge. Twist, rise. Twist, rise up. So a nice little lunge series here, like I said, sneaking a lot of leg work in throughout the sun bee take it or leave it your modifications are always to take this on your back knee and then you can just work on those oblique tips twist last one here inhale press a lunge exhale warrior two Inhale, star pose, rise up, fix your footing. Exhale, lateral lunge, get nice and low. Extend your arms out and then start to swing them back and forth. I learned this fun little movement while in SLT, which is on a mega former, mega former Pilates machine. And it really challenges your stability. And when your stability is challenged, that's when your core really needs to engage. 
So this is a nice little challenge here in your lateral lunge. And an option to stay nice and low, just add a few pulses. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, warrior two, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, flow it through. This time, inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale to your right side, drop it down, fall in triangle. Extend your right arm up, option to float that leg and add a few pulses there to challenge your core. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, press and lunge. Exhale, war lunge, <laughs> double lunge, get nice and low. Twist left, then rise up, straighten through both legs, lower, twist left. In case you guys couldn't tell, I'm a little stuffy right now. I feel like that is just bringing itself right into some head congestion, so I apologize that I'm getting my left and right a little confused here. Bear with me. <laughs> Halfway through the week, we're there. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Shift your feet. Exhale, lateral lunge. Get nice and low into that right leg. And then option again for those hand movements, so swinging your arms forward to back. Keep your belly button up towards your spine. Back should be nice and flat. And then make sure your knees stacking in line with your toes. And then just option here to pulse it nice and low. Really starting to fire up those glutes. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, high to low plank. Flow it out. Woo. We've got one more set of those. Almost there, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chair pose, inhale. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, right leg lifts. Last set, exhale, curtsy lunge. Just sit, get low and twist. Lower and twist. A lot of opportunities throughout this entire full body weight flow to challenge your balance. I really wanted to bring that aspect of yoga into the sequence. I just find it helps so much to build out your core strength. Just overall stability, so great for your yoga practice, great for strength building. In case you couldn't catch it, we're onto the left side. That left leg, really working into our curtsy lunges here. Glutes, inner thighs, hamstrings, everything is ignited, everything is fired up here. Almost there, inhale, exhale, chair with airplane arms, inhale, chair pose, exhale, forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, high plank, step back, this time, a set of commandos, and then opposite ankle tap, repeat, commando, lower, lower, up, up, ankle tap, high plank, ankle hop, high plank, commando, commando, up, up, tap, tap. Simple movements, but man, do they burn. Last one coming up. All you got, down or facing dog, take a breather. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fall in triangle. This time we're trying something new. Thread the needle. You wrap your left arm under towards your right. Again, as you do these, really important to stress. If you have sensitive shoulders, I would suggest not doing a fallen triangle or not doing at least some of these moves. Um, rather, you could hold a side plank, high plank, forearm plank, um, and take a modification on your legs. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge. Lower, lift and squeeze. Lower, lift and squeeze. So starting to get into some lunges. You can take these at your own pace. 
keep pressing through your left foot squeeze your glutes at the top really be intentional every time you lower and lift inhale star pose exhale warrior two inhale reverse your warrior exhale high to low plank throw it out last side coming up we are almost there inhale send your left leg high exhale knee to elbow inhale send your leg high exhale knee to nose inhale extend exhale fall in triangle drop it down extend your right arm up and then same option to add in those thread the needles for an added core challenge man those really fire up your obliques i was feeling it after this sequence Lots of lots of core work today. I know I don't always offer it, but always know you can pause the video, take a break, listen to your body, take what you need. Inhale, send your leg high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose, rise up. Exhale, lateral lunge. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. And take these nice and slow. Press through the outside edge of your right foot. Intentionally squeeze at your glutes at the top. Stay active the entire time. And use your breath. I find it really helpful to press my palms together at heart center really, really tight. It helps to engage your arms the entire time. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale. Your final high to low plank of the Sun V series. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, shift forward to a high plank. Commandos. And then four plank jacks. Quick little cardio burst. I lied. Two plank jacks. But if you really want to fire it up, go for four. <laughs> Always an option to in those plank jacks to step it out. Just focus on keeping your core so strong here. Hips and shoulders stay stacked, so if you find yourself with your hips starting to rise way too high, acknowledge that, be aware of it, bring them back down to shoulder level. Almost there. You are more than halfway through. With this cardio burst, we get a quick little break after this. Stay with it. Give it all you've got here. You've got four, three, Two, one, send it back, find down dog, and then option for a quick little child's pose. Option here to pause the video real quick, grab water, towel off, as you can see I did so. <laughs> Setting up for belly up core. Stack your knees over your hips, just heading into basic bicycle crunches. So twist it right, center, left, center, hovering your opposite foot about an inch off your mat. Exhale as you twist. Drive your elbow towards your knee rather than your knee towards your elbow. We're going to go into some straight leg oblique punches coming up. So you'll see what that looks like in just a few seconds here. Extend your right leg nice and long and then pulse your left elbow towards your right leg so lower lift peel your shoulders off and then the entire time your left foot is staying floated about an inch off your mat so again you're peeling your shoulder blades off your left elbow is driving towards your right knee your right leg is nice and long at a 90 degree angle and then lift your left arm up reach towards the opposite side of the room as you lower and lift your right leg again the entire time your left leg is hovered an inch off your mat in an isometric hold there this move Kills the obliques, but it is so amazing, so impactful. Stay with it. Peel your shoulder up one inch higher because you can. And switch it out. Same thing on the other side. Left leg straightens. Drive your right elbow towards your knee as close as possible as you can get. Peel your right shoulder off your mat. And then keep your right foot hovered about an inch off your mat. Use your exhales. And then coming up, extend your right arm up towards the outer part of your left leg and lower and lift that left leg. See if you can 
peel your right shoulder blade off one inch higher. Really elongate through your core here. And then setting up for basic crunches, stack your knees over your hips, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. Exhale as you lift. Four crunches and then four alternating lowers with the legs and then back to four crunches. And then you're gonna hold your head high, gaze down at your belly button, shoulders are peeled off for those alternating leg lowers. It's two each side, repeat. The basic crunches can kind of be an active recovery. I know everything's really firing up here. Some of the things actually a recovery, but you know, we're gonna go for it. Almost there, stay with it. See if each time you can peel up even higher. And then send your legs up at a 90 degree angle. Rope climbers, opposite hand to outside of opposite ankle. Again, you're hearing a pattern here. Peel your shoulders up the higher you can reach up the more you are going to burn into your core here. We've got one more exercise on deck. Stay with it, stay present in this space. Russian twist, find your boat pose, twist it right, left, right, left, right, left. So working to drive your elbow as far back as you can while working to keep your feet hovered or option to keep them down on your mat for added support. And then just really work to drive your elbows as far back as you can, twisting really deep into your obliques. We're gonna end these out with a pulse on each side. Hold it right and pulse, pulse, pulse. So stay nice and low in that hold. And then to the left, just pulse it out here. Quick, sharp pulses. This is where you finish up your core. You're done in four, three, two, one. Give yourself a rock and roll. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Take a quick break here option for some cat cows. I know those often feel so nice after a lot of deep core work. So if that is something that you're craving, I want you to do some of that right now. Or option, like I said, just to grab water, towel off whatever you need to do to reset. And then this is the point where we head into arm series. So a resistance band is totally optional. If not, you can use a towel and I'll direct you how to use that. So setting up right back into some commandos. Yep, I love these. <laughs> um, so make your way palm, palm, elbow, elbow. Take it at your own pace. We are heading into wide arm push-ups from here. So set it up, stay focused, find your breath. Setting up for wide arm push-ups, thumbs on the outside edges of your mat. Four sets of wide arm push-ups into 10 mountain climbers. So that's five each side. Go at your own pace. Always an option in those wide arm push-ups to take them on your knees. Modifications are always invited into this practice. Trust me, I have my days where I am just not feeling it. So listen to your body. Don't you compare yourself to others. Just do you. This exercise was a killer. You'll see my face during the resistance band work. Low-key dying the entire time. So I'm with you. I'm here with you. I know it's tough, but you've got this. You are so much stronger than you think. Stay with it. Final one, come onto your knees, take a quick breath. Grab your resistance band, put it on the outside of your hand, send your arms out long and just start to pulse. So sending your hands out, you'll feel that band tighten and then bring it in. If you have a towel, just really work to find that resistance. You can really create your own resistance in anything like this. Use your core, relax your shoulders. And if you have that band, we're gonna going to lower, take a quick break, lift, stretch it out, repeat. This does not look like anything, but man, oh man, my arms are shaking, especially after those commandos and push-ups and mountain climbers. Use your breath, keep your core tight, squeeze through your glutes. And then this is a fun little core move, twist it right, and then twist it left. So it's pushing through your entire body here. 
well, rather your upper body. So not only is it an arm workout, but it's also a nice little oblique core burner here. All right, one more time, let's do it. Right back into those commandos. If you are not feeling those, option to just hold a forearm plank here. Take a little bit out of your shoulders for a hot sec. Option for a quick break too before we get back into our last set of push-ups. Wider and push-ups, let's go. Four sets of wider push-ups. 10 mountain climbers, same deal. This set is a little shorter. Again, those push-ups can always be taken on your knees. Or if you want another challenge, you could head into some cool Spider-Man push-ups, you could do tricep push-ups, your call. I always like to encourage your own modification. So here you'll see I took it on my knees. Just important to do what works for you. Finding that balance between challenging yourself but also not overdoing it if you're just not in that mindset, not in that physical place. Stay strong through these mountain climbers and come on to your knees. Final time we hit up with that resistance band, same work as before. So just start to pulse it out here. Keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. You'll start to see my facial expressions. Really using my breath here. So make sure you tune into your breath. It is so powerful. It will help you through these challenging exercises. here. Twist it right and then twist it left. Keep pulling on that band or towel, whatever you're using. Last one and release that band. Ditch it. Take a breath. Shake your arms out. All right. Don't kill me, but we're heading right into some cardio. So stand it up. Pop it out. You can walk it out as an active recovery or you can do a fun little jump rope like we have here. Heading right into 10 burpees and then 10 single leg jump lunges. So 10 burpees, option to step it out, option for the jump, option to add a push up at the bottom if you're really feeling it. So this set, we're going to repeat three times. So you will see burpees either two or three times. There's an option for jump squats. I'll stop talking, keep it going. You're almost there. Remember 10 burpees, make these strong. Ooh, and shake it out right back into that jump rope option to step it out we're gonna set up for 10 single leg jump lunges so you'll see you'll start with your right knee stacked over your ankle and then your left leg is going to drive up towards your chest option to add the arms option to add a little bit of a lift in that right foot as you see, can see this is a pretty intense cardio move you don't even need to add that jump it is challenging as it is that little pop is just an added challenge if you are looking for that go ahead you're going to switch it out after you take a quick 10 seconds to recover we're heading into our left side so left leg forward same thing drive your right knee up lower lift lower lift lower really work to drive that knee in use your arm power for strength here you're just doing 10 each side. Once you finish that up, you know where we're headed, right back to those jump ropes. Option to step it out. So here you can either take jump squats or burpees or any other cardio of your choice if you're not into either. You'll see I chose jump squats just to switch it up here. If you are choosing jump squats, just really focus on landing lightly on your feet. Sink nice and low, get that booty work in here. And go ahead, recover. We've got our second set of single leg jump squats, jump lunges, I'm sorry. 
right foot forward, drive your left knee up, right back into them, keep them strong, stay focused, stay present here, use your breath. You've got this. Once you're done with those 10, recover, step it out or hop it out. Keep that blood flowing. We're gonna be setting up right into our left side. Left side on deck, step it forward. Right leg drives up and right back into it. 10 sets. You are more than halfway through. You could do anything in this amount of time. Just stay with it. You've gotten this far. Do not give up on yourself now. Woo! One more set, one more of everything. Cardio of your choice. You can do burpees, jump squats, you could do jacks, whatever you are feeling, whatever you're craving. This is your practice. Just 10 of whatever it is you choose. Get on into it. Last set of burpees. Never thought I'd love a phrase anymore. <laughs> You don't want those burpees, you know the drill. Step it out, hop it out. Last set of single leg jump lunges. Right foot forward, and then right back into those little hops or no hops. I know it's tough cardio, we're almost there. Final right side here. All you've got after this is your left side. This is the point in class, well, in your home, <laughs> where you give it your all. One more recovery, one more standing cardio set. Take a nice deep breath, set up. Last side, let's do it. And then once you are done with that, take a moment to yourself. Grab water, towel off, pause the video if you need to. And when you're ready, head to the back of your mat. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, forward fold. Step out to a high plank. And then right back into those plank rocks. So you're shifting forward an inch, back an inch, and repeating that movement. Hey, the good news is this is our last standing side. Lower down, inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Inhale, one legged mountain, right leg lifts. Exhale, curtsy lunge. We did not forget about those. Same thing as our Sunday warm up. Working to drive your right elbow towards your, or your left elbow towards your right knee. <laughs> and then when you are low, pulse it nice and low. We'll burn out this right side before we hit up our left. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cross the chair with the airplane arms. Inhale, left leg lifts. One leg into Tadasana. And then right back into our curtsy lunges. I promise you only have one more set of these <laughs> oh man these were killer once you're low just pulse it out here I don't know what's going on with the blurriness of this video Justin probably walked by <laughs> yes I was filming this while he was getting ready in the morning I had a nice little trash can situation set up it was it was great <laughs> Whenever you're done with that, you're going to just flow it out. Meet me in down dog, however you want to get there. Inhale, send your right leg high. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, extend. 
Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge. And just pulse it low here. We do not have any oblique twists or lunges. Just some pulses. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Rise up. Set up for lateral lunge. Inhale, exhale, lateral lunge. Get low. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower as you extend your arms out. Lower. Lift. Arms go back. Lower. Extend forward. Arms go back. Again, the idea with adding the arm movement in here is that it really challenges your stability, which means you are engaging your core even more here. And then once you're low, windmill your arms, twist your right arm towards the outside of your left foot, bring it back up. Again, another fun move I got at SLT. I love this. Again, it just really works to challenge your stability here, especially when you're nice and low in that lateral lunge. And then final move, more oblique twist. So it's a lunge with an oblique twist. So as you lunge nice and low, drive your knee up and twist your right elbow towards the outside of your left knee. Another really challenging balance movement. So I challenge you to find a point to focus on something to help keep you nice and balanced. Always option to ditch that challenge and just focus on your basic lateral lunges, all of which are great options, great modifications. We'll end nice and low with a quick little pulse here. We've done this before. Inhale, star pose, shake it out. Exhale, warrior two, inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, flow it out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, send it back. Inhale, send your left leg high. Exhale, knee to left elbow. Inhale, send your leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend. Exhale, knee to right elbow. Inhale, extend. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge, get low, just pulse. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, lateral lunge, last side. We lower and lift, lower and lift. Again, as you lower, arms go out in front of you. As you lift, arms go behind. Also, I totally lied. We have no more of those kerchief lunges, guys. We are done with those. Sayonara. Goodbye. <laughs>are going to hold it low extend your arms out windmill your arm down so opposite arm to outside of opposite foot i'm not even going to try to say my left and right right now because i'll probably mess it up but you know you know what you're working on and then finish up with those drive your knee up find that oblique twist at the top for that balance challenge Always, like I said, option to ditch that and just focus on the lateral lunges. Each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. This is the very last exercise of our standing series. You are there. You made it so far. We're going to be heading on to our mat after this and give it all you've got. Stay with it. Stay focused here. Pulse it low. That right side should be fired up. Inhale, star pose, shake it out. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, high to low plank, flow it out. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Send it back. Almost there, friends. Find your high plank, run it out, mountain climbers. I know, last cardio burst. You've got this. This is your last little burst before we make our way into glutes. See if you can go a little quicker, driving your knee to your elbow. So good. Use your breath. Final four. Three, two, one. Down dog. And then gently come onto your knees. Take a quick child's pose stretch. Take a moment. Take a breather. You just work so incredibly hard. We are in our final minutes of class. We have glutes. <laughs> so you're going to stack your shoulders directly over your hips. This is 
a interesting move. You're gonna drop your right hand down, stack your right hip directly over your left, and then flex your left foot, lift about hip height, then lower, lift and lower. And you should have a nice long line of energy from your toe all the way through your head. So imagine like your back is flat against a wall right now. So you do not want to be hinging your chest forward. And then you're going to send your leg forward, tap it with your elbow, then lower, lift, send forward, tap elbow, lower, lift. It's a funky move. It kills the obliques, kills the glutes. Man, oh man, this is so tough at the end of your practice, but you're going to feel so amazing once you're done with it. So strong. You should be doing about 10 of these. Option to slow it down, go at your own pace. And then end with a quick little pulse to burn it out here. Keep your leg high, flex that foot, and wrap it up. Take a breather. This time, your left arm comes down, right leg extends, flex your right foot, lower, lift, lower, lift. So flexing your foot is really important here. It's gonna make sure that you fire up your glutes and your legs. It really helps to engage everything in that lower leg region. And then right back into those elbow taps. So drive your leg in, elbow towards knee, back out, lower and lift. Then this entire time, you'll start to find that your hip starts to shift past your knee. As you can see, I'm doing it a little bit here. Just try to reset that, be mindful of that. Almost there. Final one. Just pulse it out. Finish up that burn. All right. Second set of glutes. We're gonna lay down onto our side. So choose whatever side you want. Nice long line here. And then flex your foot, top leg lifts and lowers. Squeeze your glutes at the top. Just know that everyone's range of motion here is going to be different. So it's not always about how high you get your leg, but it's a matter of really keeping your glutes engaged, keeping your or engage too since so staying nice and long through your body and then you're gonna hold it halfway and trace small circles about a size of a grapefruit maybe a little bigger than that trace it backwards so reversing that circle this one is an absolute killer in the outer glutes and then end with a quick little pulse here to finish it out if you're wondering what that noise was in the background it's my lovely sink and bathroom plumbing. All right, setting up for some clamshells. So into a leg press here. So you're really working to find that clamshell position and then your hip and knee stays aligned the entire time as you press your foot out, keeping your foot flexed the entire time. And then reach that top arm out for an added core challenge here. Massage out your glutes and then switch it out. We're gonna hit up, up the other side. right back into those leg lowers flex your top foot stay nice and long through your entire body keep your core engaged here I know these exercises don't look like much but so incredibly challenging they definitely get my glutes and legs shaking and you're gonna hold halfway trace those circles take them nice and slow again about a size of a grapefruit maybe a little bigger and then reverse that circle. And then hold halfway, just pulse. Almost there, we've got those clamshell leg presses on deck. So set up your clamshell, 90 degree bend in your legs, and then that top leg presses nice and long. Keep your foot flexed. 
and then keep your knee at about hip height. Crazy, crazy burn on your outer glutes, let me tell you. Final four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. All right, you're almost there. We've got just a few things. Find a forearm plank, and then tap your right foot out wide, back to center. Repeat this 10 times. Final oblique burn here. Once you've done it 10 times on your right side, get right into that left leg. Keep your shoulders and hips stacked. And then come on to one of your elbows for a side plank, right into some hip dips. Option to keep your bottom leg on the ground. And just work to find that pinch as you lift and lower. And then thread the needle. You're gonna keep your hips up nice and high. Reach your arm under you, then lift reach and lift reach and lift so you're twisting through your obliques here keeping your hips high keeping your shoulders stacked directly over your elbow here and then switch it out right back into those hip dips Then always know you can take a modification here. And then back into thread the needle. So right, left arm lifts, reaches under, repeat. Keep your hips up nice and high this entire time. And then back into your forearm plank. Come into a supported tricep push-up so onto your knees drive your elbows back right into some tricep push-ups here make sure that as you lift your shoulders are right over your wrists 90 degree bend in your elbows so good you've got just a few more here final four three two and one, pulse low. Quick, quick pulses, stay nice and low. You're here for four, three, two, one. Final move, <laughs> V-ups. Come on to your back, long body. As many as you can get, lift towards your toes. Lift and lower, lift and lower. You can take these at a quicker or slower pace. This is where we finish. You are so close to the finish line. Do not give up on yourself. You made it this far, 53 minutes in. You've got a final four, three, two, and one. Take a break. Option to keep going <laughs> if you're looking to really finish things out nice and strong and once you're done however many you want to get in give yourself a squeeze thank yourself rock and roll the length of your mat a few times and most importantly we just did so much work over those last 50 minutes so take the time to stretch it out at the end neck rolls side body stretches Whatever it is you're craving, I just really encourage you. Stretching is such an important part of your practice. And I know I personally sometimes <laughs> skip out on stretches and that's not okay. And I can definitely feel it in my body when I do do that. And I tend to just make up excuses. I'm running out the door. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. But right now, we don't really have many excuses. I think we're all probably working from home at this point And or at least a lot of us are. And so, you know, using that new opportunity, that new time to do more of a deeper stretch and really take that time for yourself because it is just as important as the entire first part of the class where we, you know, worked on our strength and our cardio and really building up into this point. So, yeah, enjoy it. 
take your time and I just want to end by saying thank you so much. I appreciate you all and if you like these videos, like, comment, subscribe, DM me, whatever it is. I want to hear from you and I want to hear what you want to see. So with that, have a great rest of your week.